Okay, the bridges have been put back to normal again. Righty then, Daisy. It's a race for the star now, and looks like you had a very good start. I think you might have gotten it already. Yep. <laughs> so much for a race. Uh, well, at least on the plus side, we're not we're not having an easy running. <laughs> yeah, I had to put that in. <clears throat> Okay, so next star is back at start. Interesting. I believe Boo is probably more likely going to get that one. Alright then, Piranha Plant, where should we put you? Hmm. I could put it there, but I believe that's actually where a star spawns. Uh, same for that blue space just before this space. Ooh. Yeah, I think I'm going to put it here. An eight. Okay, not bad. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Blue space over there. Oh, if I got a perfect ten, I could have taken that happening space. Let's see. One, two, three... Four, five, six, okay. I would have had just enough for the star, I think. Yeah, because Daisy got a perfect 10 landing where Boo is. If the star wasn't there, it would have been stood one space before Boo. Um, right then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Dual if I go up. Or blue space in the any other path. Uh, oh, boy. I think I'm going to go this way because there's only one space where the star is yet to be. Because we've had it up here. I believe we've had it up here. There's a star space over here, which I'm not sure if it's actually been. Hang on, just making sure. Right, six stars have been grabbed, so let's see. So we had one here, one here. One here, one up there, one up there, and I think one here. Oh, so, no, never mind. No, 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 sorry. Ay, ay, ay. Right. One on the bridge. One on the far bottom left. Three up here. And I think one directly in front of the shop. I think. Yeah, I'm trying to remember when it was because obviously I am recording this at a different day. I do do my recordings of Mario Party in separate days. And when I started this board, it was on Wednesday last week. Actually, no, but it wasn't on Wednesday last week. It was on Thursday. No, Friday. It was on Friday last week, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, Toadette just missed it by one. Divide everybody's coins equally. Okay, I was wondering when that was going to pop up. So everybody's now got 41. I got a net profit again. I mean, it's kind of fair really, because I did have the most coins before I was forced to swap with daisies. Right, Pokey Pommel. Pokey Pommel's a new minigame. Yep. Had a feeling it was going to be. Right, send the Pokies flying by whacking them with your hammer. The first player to smash all of them wins. You just smash the A button repeatedly. Hit each pokey five times to send it flying. Press the button as fast as you possibly can. And you do actually notice that in the tutorial, 
uh, like, well, basically the demonstration of the minigame being shown, the record is set at five minutes. Yeah, five minutes. But when you play the actual minigame itself, it says that the world record is actually one minute, which I have no understanding of why that's to be the case. Oh, I nearly beat my record. I know you probably might be thinking I'm still good at uh, fast button mashing, but I'm not really as good as I used to be, because every now and then, when you mash the A button, sometimes my arm gets tired and it just stops me from doing it, no matter how hard I try. Uh, good use of that, Daisy, truly. And Daisy did not get the star. Oh, she gets Bowser Pipe and warps with me. Divide everybody's... <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, dear. Honestly. Right then, so... We've had... Mini Bowser over there being a Bowser Pipe many times, but when I landed on it, it was swap coins with somebody. That one has been Bowser Equality. Uh, that one... I don't even remember what that one did. Right, I'm going to use a Super Shroom Orb. So that way I can actually get... There you are, I've got it. Hands down. 1088, eight. nice. 26. Um, yeah, we'll buy another Piranha Plant Orb. Excuse me a minute. Hello? I'll probably leave it till next week. Um, not that I can think of now. Not yet. I don't know. What? Normal hours tomorrow? You said tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. See you. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Sorry about that, everyone. It's just my mum saying that um, she's finished with work and asking me if I wanted to go shopping with her because my mum and dad are going to be going away on holiday in a couple of weeks' time. So I thought while she's out doing her actual work, because she actually got called back into work today, I'm still waiting to be called back into work because of this whole COVID business. I don't know when I'm going to get called back in. I'm just going to have to be patient and hope for the best. That's all I can honestly say. Uh, I would shop at the orb again, but it's only going to be nothing but mushrooms. See, three. Might be a game. Okay. So yeah, while my mum was actually at work, I was trying to see how much recording I could actually do today. It seems I'm only going to be able to do one.
<clears throat> okay. We do know how this works, Toesworth. Yes. Right, strawberry, apple, grape, and on the cherry. Cherry. Apple. Banana. Grape. Strawberry. I will admit, I did actually lose this mini game one time when I practiced a board. Um, because I couldn't actually remember one of the cards, even though I did say it out loud before they turned around. It was banana, and I thought it was cherry, and I was worried I was going to make that same mistake again, because they were actually close together. Okay, Boo would have just had enough to get the star if I didn't get to it with my triple shroom. Uh, once again, Toadette gets the Triple Shroom. We haven't even seen Boo or Daisy pick up their special item yet. I did show that I had the option to pick mine up, but I chose not to. Because it's better to pick it up as an orb than to buy it as an orb. If you get my drift. And um, Spear Factor, we've already played this mini game, so it's the first repeat. Just making absolutely sure that... It's marked off. Okay, go on, Toadette. Uh, Toadette, you're pushing it a bit too far to the right. Come on. Work with me. Work those stubby little arms. <laughs> Literally, of course. Watch out for the thwomp and the Monty. Uh, whoa! Okay. Uh, I gotta say, Toadette. Tony, why are you stood in the center? You're supposed to stand on one side, let me stand on the other side. We actually could have beat the record if she didn't stand in the very center. That's one thing I actually don't really like about this minigame when working with the AI, is that you're supposed to have one person stood on the left, one person stood on the right pushing forward, but the AI always stands in the center. I don't get why. Because it's like every single time when I do the pushing, um, it always pushes it in the direction opposite of where I'm stood. And we've got pitch. So we've had bridge. Photo, bridge, photo. And it's the exact same positions as it was before, where Boo is the damsel, Daisy is the singing marionette, and Toda is guiding the gondola. And 20 coins again. I think the reason why that's to be the case is so that way I don't get to buy a star. But honestly, I have a 4 star lead. And we are in the final 10 turns. Let's have a look. Yeah, we're in the final 10 turns. So there's one more Bowser time left to do. Ah, she had the option to go up to play the happening minigame. But I don't think she wanted to activate Boo's trap. Uh, let's see. Piranha plant, I'll put you down there. Hey, bonus coins! 
Nice, that'll do nicely. Roll a six, that's too much for the star, unfortunately. So I'm going to be forced to miss it. So where can I go? Let's see, one, two, three. Oh, Daisy Space, or one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's mean. I either have to activate an orb space for Boo or an orb space for Daisy, and I have no idea what any of them do. Oh. I don't think any of them set a piranha plant. I think one of them is definitely a hammer bro. I think I'll go for Boo. Because he's not in second place. Oh, that was a piranha plant. Sorry, never mind. But it's only a loss of five coins, so... It's not that big of a deal. I wonder if the other space that I could have landed on with Daisy would have been a piranha plant as well. Talk to the devil. <laughs> so there, you're surprised of the piranha plant spawning up when it is your piranha plant. Uh, I guess you're probably surprised that you're thinking, wait, hang on, piranha plants aren't even supposed to be growing on bridges, especially wooden ones. That's right, they're not, because there's no soil underneath. Two and six. Right, okay. What you gonna buy? I can see a blue capsule there. And she decides to buy a regular mushroom. Okay, no worries. Missed my piranha plant space by one. Because I don't really like putting orb spaces on the bridges. Because on Bowser's on Bowser time. You obviously saw twice that he actually destroys the bridges. That also destroys the orb spaces. And we've already played Big Dripper. I am absolutely sure. Yep. I'm not going to be able to get that one. Hey, Toadette! Okay, surprisingly, it's allowed me to grab that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have to worry about that. Because it was going to be time over anyway. But yeah, that's the one thing that's actually a little bit silly about this game, is that you can't actually share the spaces. You really can't. Okie doke. Right, gonna use a twister. Oh, no, never mind. I can't actually put it there. Um, right, okay, so what's my next alternative? Actually, you know what? We'll put a twister there. Get a six. Oh, please don't tell me I land on the. One, two, three. I have. One, two, three, four. Oh! Donkey Kong, yes, please. Uh. No, I don't need to buy anything. I'm not landing on two piranha plant spaces in a row. Hey, for once we actually got a single player DK mini game with me being the single player. It's also the very first single player DK as well. You can get either 20 coins, 30 coins, or a star, and of course I get the 20 coins, but 
That's perfectly fine. That's how much a star is worth. And we've got Jump Man. Run up the ramp and reach the top before DK does, but watch out for the barrels. Say, this kind of looks familiar. Yeah. The reason why I'm saying it looks familiar is because it's basically replicating Mario vs. Donkey Kong. FYI, you can see Mario in the demonstration battling against Donkey Kong to raise up the ramps. You just move left to right because it's a 2D scrolling game and you just press A to jump. If a barrel hits you, you'll be stunned and lose time. Time your jumps carefully. Now what Toastworth actually doesn't say is that you can also jump on top of the barrels. But watch out at the very beginning because that is there to basically hit any impatient people. There we go. And you can see just how careless... Hey, do you mind? Let me up there. Thank you. There you go, 23 coins. At least I get a bit of my money back. That's I. Well, actually, no, all of my money that the uh, Bowser stole from me. The one thing I do find very weird about Donkey Kong is that he celebrates when you win a minigame when he's on the party board, but when he's in the minigame, he's like, Ah, oh, no, I lost! But then... The other way around, where it's like, Yes, I won a minigame, and then he goes into the party board and goes, No, you didn't beat me! I wanted to give you a reward! <laughs> and I'm thinking, If you're sad about me losing a minigame, then why were you happy about winning the minigame in the first place? That's what I don't get. Right, I believe the um, star is on lockdown for Toadette. If she can actually get this role, because she is about 12 spaces, I believe. Okay, she's got 14. Okay, never mind. She was only t she was only ten spaces. Or well, actually, no. Wait, hang on. It went from fourteen and it dropped down to nine. Um. No, drop down to nine. Drop down to five. Okay, there we go. We actually, finally get the star to spawn there. Only I can get it, of course, because Toad is forced to take the long route. And Daisy and Boo have already gone past it. Doing eight again. Ah, uh, Toesworth, why do you have to keep repeating yourself with these blinking tutorials? We know what to do here. We get given either three co three cards, four cards, or five cards, and have to memorize what's on the card. And once again, so they're doing the chicken. Is she gonna get the last one wrong like she did with the last one? No, she actually got it that time. She obviously remembers a strawberry from an apple, but couldn't memorize an apple from an orange. Yeah, let's get back to the game to immediately go to another mini game. Everybody against Boo. Pogo a go go once again. Uh, 
Okay, just double checking the controls because last time we played this, I was the one. Yeah, you just gotta be extra cautious. Oh, damn it. I did not move that fast. I only moved like a tiny shed and I landed on the edge. The screen wasn't moving and it recognized me slipping into the hole. Come on, game. Ugh. 